So mindset, right? If we're gonna talk about what beliefs shape us, you are only going to be able to do what you believe you are capable of or worthy of doing, right? So the stories that we tell ourselves matter. What's something in your life where maybe you were living under a limiting belief and how you changed your mindset? I have two things. So when I was five, I remember I wanted to play basketball with the boys. And I went to my father and I was like, I can't play with the boys. They won't let me play. I can't. And my dad jacked me up by my shirt. <laughs> and he said, uh, he looked me in my face and he said, don't ever say what you can't do. You can do anything in this world. You can do anything a man can do. And I thought, wow, that was, that was amazing. My second is with painting. I got frustrated, like what? I was comparing myself to other artists and I was like, I can't, I can't paint like them. And then as if, if you're aware of what you're saying, I can't paint like them. So how I released that limiting belief was just tuning into myself and realizing that I paint like me and that my work is my work. That's definitely powerful because like you don't want to paint like somebody else. Sure. Like everybody got their own style. Like there's been people who have been successful at doing stick figures. For like, sure. There for was real. A, a banana, what that banana that sold and then it was just a creative the story behind it and it sold for so much money or the, the toilet bowl that's sitting in a gallery you know and i'm like it's the feeling art is a feeling um, right so i can't paint like anyone else i love that like you said your dad had told you that like you can do anything you want to do i think that's important what beliefs that we accept from other people and which ones that we you know reject right mm -hmm. and I think it's important too to be intentional about that like if someone tells you you can't do something you know like are you going to accept that as your reality or are you going to change your reality you know right I think the biggest thing too is the story we, t we tell ourselves right like something could seem big right let's say you have a dream and that your dream is to build a spaceship and a spaceship physically seems big you already psych yourself out on what you can't do, but you have this dream. And it's just like, I know it's cliche, but like Nike for real do it. Just, yeah. Just the worst thing is not doing it. Right, because then it's self-fulfilling prophecy. You don't even, it never comes to be. That and the self-defeating. So now you create a compound effect of self-defeating behavior over and over and over. At yeah. least try, if you at least try, you know, hey, I can at least try this. I can at least try. I, can, I did it. So our question is going to be, what do you want to let go of? What mindset do you need to let go of? Are you telling yourself that you can't finish out this year a certain way? Are you telling yourself that, you know, you can't get out of the situation you're in? Like, what is the thing that you're, that you're putting on yourself that is limiting you from possibility, right? And what do you choose to to receive right what do you it's like an ebb and flow it's like what do you need to let go and what do you need to call to you you know what do you need to let go and what do you need to let flow oh I, like I, like I like that i like that, <laughs> I like that yeah. Yep. for sure i like that what do you need to let go and what, what do you, you need, need to, to let, let flow? flow nice mm -hmm. in art right we can represent that in a multitude meaning many of ways right the whole art of letting go like what does it look like visually on paper to take a concept to take a mindset or it could even be a person maybe there's some people you need to be like bye that's it you need to get out of my right, life right sure. you need to like set that boundary but like how can we represent that on paper right one of the ways we could do that is with line marking so like making marks that look like motion making it look like something's falling away so we're going to show you some examples of that too Right, so as human beings, we're geared on survival, so we hoard. Because, for example, bears take food in the winter, right? We take stuff because we think, oh, we're not going to get this again. So naturally, we hoard, right? Hey, man, I didn't even think about that. Like, right. that's where we get lack mindset. It's survival. So, oh. like, even though, like, we've evolved technology-wise, our brain can't keep up with the rate technology is moving. So it's moving faster than our evolution of, of this up here, right? So if I have $20, my mind says, 
I can only spend so much, but the reality I end up spending it all because I'm so like it's just a uh, sabotage in itself. But it's like I want to hold on to this, so I want to hoard this twenty dollars. I don't know where my next twenty dollars is coming from, and so okay, the art of letting go is knowing, is belief and faith, and knowing that if I let this twenty go, forty will come. I have to right. keep the flow. You try to dam up water, and what happens? It cracks the lip, you know what I mean? It cracks it, and then what yeah. happens? Because water can't, you can't, right? Can't you try to, yeah. you try to capture air. You go to, oh, what? you try to keep water in a jar, right? And when you come back, you're like, where did the water go, right? Right. Like, where did this stuff go? It evaporated, but it comes back. It flows. Right. It it's a somewhere. cycle. There's a lot of YouTube videos too. You can look up on lack mindset of how like you can stay stuck in a situation. Even if you get out of this environment, if you still have the mindset you had in the environment, right? Okay, so, so for example, the way I was raised was we didn't have enough, right? And every time we would ask for something, I don't have it. I don't. So over a period of time, compound interest of that word, what you don't have, when you get older, you whore, right? And so what I had to let go of was not only unlearning that mindset right and knowing that everything i need i have like i have food i have shelter and i have water um, i had to let go of my be limiting beliefs <laughs> is that a doorbell that was interesting okay so yeah i had first i had to let go of uh, what i believe what i was trained to believe and then secondly let go of myself period not let not let go like oh i'm gonna be dirty or oh but literally let like and reaffirm <clears throat> that i am enough and reaffirm that i am powerful i am strong and reaffirm relearn that this is abundant place and this is for me it was we're, we're here to make this not only a better place, but it's so much here. But when you're stuck in a box, when you're stuck in this one square, you can't see the bigger circle. You can't see the bigger picture, right? And so it's just getting out of that little space I was in the neighborhood, like the situation we, we grew up in and taking myself into the, the, you know, the ocean pretty much. So mm -hmm. I let go of the things I believed in the lack of this, the lack of that. I can't have this because it costs too much. I can't do this because of that. And knowing that, yo, it's mine. You yeah. know what I mean? And if it was put in my face and, you know, also being smart too though, needs versus wants and all that, but you know. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty much letting go. Um, and letting go of like fear, letting go of people who no longer serve you um, on your walk and your journey, your purpose, and you'll feel it energetically. Letting go, you know, pain, anger, hurt, any negative thing that doesn't serve you once again, letting go of, um, you know, trauma, and um, learning to forgive. I could leave you guys with this Real quick on letting go, it just came to my mind. I thought of an astronaut holding balloons and the astronaut has a backpack on that's supposed to let the parachute go. And he lets the balloon go, but doesn't let his parachute out yet. And so he is letting go of everything that he has held captive in the balloon and he is just free falling and being free. And of course, eventually he lets the parachute out, but in the moment he's free from all captivity, all negativity, and anything anyone has ever said, done, or threatened with his life, whatever, whatever, um, he's free. I love that, I think that's beautiful. So just wanna show y'all that you can convey motion with line marks. So this is a great piece that showcases mark making. You see you've got some squiggly lines and some cross hatching is what that's called when the line goes across another line. 
So you got a lot of motion in this piece and you can do that by making a lot of marks on the page and then also by making them look like they're going in a certain way. So the marks that are on this canvas are kind of curved. You can see them, they're curved this way. So sometimes, right, you, you mentioned about hoarding, right? Mm -hmm. About like hoarding certain things or it could be money. But sometimes we hoard memories, right? And then sometimes we hoard people because we think, oh man, if I let these people go, right? And I, and I don't hang out with them anymore then I'm gonna be alone, right? And sometimes we could find ourselves in really bad abusive situations if we're afraid to be alone. So I think this piece kind of looks like that. It looks like they're collecting memories and this is what's called a multimedia piece. So they've got like clippings, some like words that, that was clipped out. They've got like um, tacks and they've got like these beads right here. They've got um, things from magazines they've cut out. And in this piece, it looks like something falling to me. It looks like something falling from, from there. Remember to let go. I think this piece is really cool because that's exactly what it is, you know? Like, that's a good metaphor. And a metaphor is just comparing an idea or a feeling with something else. This one's interesting because it's not so much of a letting go as it is a turning away, right? Like, the woman's got her back to the viewer, you know, like that thing is behind me now and I'm looking ahead. I thought that was really cool. Oddly enough, the, the one thing I want to say is like letting go the, the belief that you're not enough, you know, um, when someone pretty much once again tells you what you can't do, just know that you are enough to do. You are more than enough and capable to soar to new heights, be a magical being, Okay, we're going to freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> Live with joy and do that thing that brings peace to your heart. So let go. <laughs> like, that's a fancy doorbell. Like Cousin It was coming through. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> I want a, I want a doorbell. Yeah, no, and out. then like make you question should like, I ring this? No, like and then like, right and put a spider hanging like <laughs> it's Adam's family. <laughs> Hello, good evening. <laughs> Welcome to my abode. You'll never leave. <laughs> Ding.